What's going on all you gamers? Today we're going to be diving into more Remnant 2. If you've made it to Endera's End, you may well be having a hard time or stumped on the maze that's within it. So if you want to know how to get through it fast and grab all the rewards, then stay tuned. Let's come up next. Here we are back in Remnant 2, we're in the world of Yasha and we've made it to Endera's End. You're going to know that you're at the right place if you've managed to pick up this right here, the Endara's Loop. Quite a tasty ring and great for anyone that loves to run. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you my run through and then afterwards I'm going to put a full detailed map guide in case anyone's still struggling. Try and keep it as simple as possible and give you a few tips as you go. Obviously you will need to take out some of the enemies but sometimes they take themselves out as you saw there. You're going to proceed forward to the third square right at the very start and then you're going to turn right and make your way through to this door here. Turn right again and you're going to see this on the floor, probably one of the best rewards in here and that's going to be the Krill Axe. Make your way forward again and then turn to your right and you're going to proceed through this direction. Now what I've done, I must admit, I skipped this one on the planner which will come up at the end for how to complete the maze because ultimately I don't really think you get enough out of it to warrant grabbing it. But if you did want to get it, I'll show you at the end how to grab it. But the simplest route through this maze is to turn to your right, go straight forward this way and, and then you're going to chuck a left. There will be an enemy over in the corner that you probably want to take out. Now a little bit earlier on I did skip a tough enemy, you will need to tackle those, but make your way through here, make your way forward again, turn right and then go down this direction. Watch out for the arrows, sometimes you will need to do a perfect dodge roll, but most times with this path, arrows don't really shoot out at you, you're just going to have to tackle the enemies. Nice and simple, turn right and then you're going to want to go straight forward again. You're going to go straight forward again, take out any of the enemies that you find within here and then proceed straight forward once more. With this one you're going to turn right and you'll be going along the outer wall. This is pretty much the simplest bit although there is a bit of a tougher enemy a little bit later on. You're going to go through and then just proceed all the way forward until you hit the very end. And you'll be able to grab this ring right here, the Tempest Conduit. Now you're going to want to climb this ladder. And then jump over this just here and there'll be a chest for you to grab. But even better than that, this right here is going to be an illusionary wall. You're going to be able to pop through it and you'll be able to pick up this item right here, the Pulsing Heart, which is quite a cool little relic item. That's everything you need to grab. From there, you're going to just hurdle this wall and then you're going to be back right at the start where you can go back to your original checkpoint. What I'm going to do, I'm going to chuck on a map showing you exactly how to get through this. That right there is the enemy you, I believe, encounter on the second tile in, so you can't miss it, and that's going to give you a vampire blade. It is a little bit of a tougher enemy, so make sure you're taking it. So make sure you try and take it down from distance if possible. Right, so jumping over to the map guide, and I'll try to keep this as simple as possible. So hopefully you can all follow along. I'll show you exactly where the start is. That's going to be up the top, and the map's inverted for this one. So if it's going down, that will be straightforward from the start. As you can see, you're going to proceed all the way down here. Then you're going to kind of go back on yourself a little bit. And then I've just put the yellow arrows in to show that it's going to be once you've already been there. That way you're going to proceed all the way along the outer wall. Keep hugging it. Proceed all the way along. And then you can just make your way down the outer edge as well. This way you'll be able to pick up everything important. The only thing I haven't showed with this map is going to be that one chest that I said we were actually skipping. But if you did want to pick that up, then when you did start to wrap around on yourself and you were back at that second tile win, you'd have to go into that room and then go back 
through the previous two tiles back to the original starting location. You could quite easily do that if you wanted to, I just found it a lot easier to show this guide like this. But yeah, hopefully this makes sense, hopefully it's helped a few of you guys and girls out. I'm actually having a blast with this game and there'll be a load more content from me. So if you'd like to see a lot more hints, tips, guides and some great builds coming up, then hit that subscribe and bell icon. But for now, take care, I'll see you on the next day.